What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you saw our last video, we added a controller to this built Suron Ultra B and today it's time to test it in an off-road environment. So me, Reed and Alex are gonna take turns riding it, checking out the 30 kilowatts that we're pushing through this stock motor and this new controller. We're gonna kind of compare it to a fully built Tolaria Sting R. This is Alex's bike, it's running 1821s, lots of power. Kind of get an idea and see if we made a mistake putting in so much money in a Talaria Sting when maybe we should have just put it into a Suron Ultra B. So that's the question we're gonna try to figure out today. If you guys like our videos, please, 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 please hit that subscribe button. We're just ticking over 10,000 subs. We're super stoked about it. And if you guys don't like our videos, you think they suck, drop us a comment and tell us how we can do better. And we're gonna get on with this trail ride. Let's go. Reed, is it cold out? Uh. <laughs> So a lot of you guys will know from previous videos that I really like the Ultra B. It's a super fun bike and it was kind of my first experience back when I first tried it of a bigger bike than say a Talaria or a Suron because I just didn't come from racing moto or riding moto. I rode mountain bikes. So for me, this bike was really intimidating when I very first saw it and like looked at its size. But as soon as I got on it, it felt great. Maybe part of that's just because I'm six foot three and so the big bike really does feel really nice to me. I love the power. I love that you can get bigger tires have tons of traction the brakes are amazing so all in all i really like this bike and some of you will know from our last video i took this out on a night ride as soon as we installed this new torque controller and i rode it 47 miles on one charge on this upgraded 72 volt battery which is insane and this bike is so fast i don't even have the power turned up super high. Oh, we're going down this trail. So I have the power set to 20 kilowatts right now and it is totally manageable. Like really manageable to where you can just modulate the throttle exactly how you want. You can pop a wheelie if you need, but you can also go slow and ride techie stuff with lots of throttle control. So I really love this upgraded controller and the battery is very, very impressive range-wise. Now, part of that ride, I wasn't going super fast. So I'm sure if you were going all out, you'd get less range, obviously. You can still get away with riding this bike a lot of places. Not quite as much as like a Light B or a Talaria Sting, just because it looks like a full moto with all the plastics and the full fenders. And you obviously wear a full face helmet when you're riding this, but I mean, I'm riding straight through a neighborhood right now on a trail and nobody really minds because the bike is so quiet still. So I'm just kind of getting to this other trail, but you can still use it for that. You're just got to be a little more careful and really watch for cops because you're going to get pulled over because you look like a full on dirt bike. So guys, I think at the end of the day, what I'm trying to get out here is, I really like this bike. I'm not hating on this bike. It's an amazing bike, amazing vehicle to get you where you want to go, ride some insane type of riding that sometimes those smaller Talarias and Light, light B Suron can't do. So it's very impressive for that. You can run higher power, you can put a bigger battery in it. But for me, I still would take, if I could only have one, I would still take my upgraded Talaria Sting over this upgraded Suron. The main reasons being is I just love what you can get away with on those bikes. I love just being able to ride kind of wherever I want. I don't really poach mountain bike trails, you guys. I kind of stay away from those because I don't want to destroy them. But there's a lot of tight single track that's moto legal in Utah and it's just so much fun on a small light bike. It's just a total different experience. 
And coming from mountain bikes, that's what I love. I just love riding a smaller, lighter bike. And obviously a, a built Solari is no way. It's like five times the weight of the mountain bikes that I would ride. But to me, it just feels like so much more fun and nimble and snappy than this bike does. Now, I absolutely would love to have both of the bikes in my arsenal, and I would probably bounce back and forth riding them quite a bit. But for me, it's just easier to get out on the Talaria. I can ride it from my house up to the trail, ride the trail, ride back home, ride it to a friend's house. You can really just do whatever you want on it. And so it gets me out riding so much more than if I have to throw this big old bike in the back of a truck and strap it down. And it's just, it's a lot more work to have maybe a little more fun at certain times, but also not necessarily. I just, that Talaria just puts a huge smile on my face every single time I get back on it. I rode it once the other day for just a couple of minutes after I did the 47 mile ride on this bike. And I was like, I just felt at home. Now again, I wanna emphasize, I'm not hating on this bike. I love this bike, this thing is sick. But if you only have enough money to get one and you like a small bike, get a Talaria. If you only have enough money to get one and you like a big bike, get yourself an Ultra B. Or if you want an even bigger bike, Get yourself a freaking Stark Varg, man. Those things are so crazy, but I can't ride it at all anywhere near its potential. And obviously, I can ride this bike more to its potential than I'm doing right now. But these are kind of the trails I'm limited to at the moment, because I don't know if you guys just saw, but there was snow on the ground back there. So any higher elevation is covered in snow at this point, and it's just not rideable. So at the end of the day, guys, I think I'd rather have a Talaria Sting than this bike. If I could have both, I totally would. Maybe that's in my future, obviously, with doing this channel and everything. But I think everybody needs to stop worrying about which bike they ride and which bike they buy. Obviously, you want to get a good one. You want to get a good bang for your buck. Get what you pay for. But dang, all the bikes are so much fun, you guys. They're all a blast. And obviously there's this huge push on upgrading everything on your bike and we do it too. But a lot of it is for our channel. We would be having almost as much fun on our pretty much bone stock Talaria Stings as we do on our fully modified bikes or this bike. It's just so much fun to get out. So I encourage you guys to do that and don't worry too much about not having the best bike around town and just get out and ride. Just have a good time. Okay, it's Alex on the Ultra B, and this thing feels so crazy good. Last time we had it, it had almost no upgraded parts. Now it has a battery, a controller, and a bunch of things here and there, and it feels like an entirely new bike. This bike weighs about 212 pounds, but the power difference that you get with the upgraded battery and controller is more than enough to make up for that difference in weight. I really wish that I could use this bike to its full potential, but it has so much power. I'm really enjoying the throttle feel that I get with this Torb TC1000. Right out of the box, the throttle feels amazing. You're able to wheelie it like nothing and on the trail, it feels really predictable. This bike almost costs as much as our fully built Talarias, and if you slap three or $4,000 worth of suspension on this bike, which I'm not saying you need to do, but if you do that, it will be well over what we paid for our bikes. I think if you're someone that's deciding whether to get a Talaria Sting or an Ultra B, I think you just need to know where you're gonna be riding it. If you're primarily riding just trails, the Ultra B out of the box might be the absolute perfect bike for you if you're able to handle the weight of it, which isn't that much more than the Talaria Sting. But I feel like that you're not able to ride this bike on the road. It just looks, it looks too much like a dirt bike. You can sort of get away with it on a Talaria or a Suron, but this thing, this thing's pretty much a dirt bike. I wanna give a huge shout out to Kevin from Warp9 He's the guy that let us borrow his Ultra B and let us throw on his new controller. 
and man, it's been so much fun. So if you guys are looking for upgraded parts of any kind, Warp 9 has them all. They're such high quality parts. That's why we run most of their stuff on all of our bikes is because we really do think that they're the best. Shoot, I could get used to this. When you're getting on this bike, coming from a smaller, lighter bike, it's sort of hard to get used to, but once you're used to it, it rips hard, dude. It is so fast, throttle so predictable, and it just feels, it feels solid. This is just getting me excited for the Talaria Dragon that's coming out soon. If you guys haven't heard, Talaria just announced a new bike. It's a Suron Ultra B slash Storm B killer. It's a little bit heavier than this bike and a little bit lighter than that Storm B. And it is pushing insane numbers on paper. We're definitely gonna get one and test it out for you guys. I just don't think it'll be out until mid 2024. I think right out of the box, I would rather have the Suron Ultra B than the Talaria Sting R. It's mostly because the kind of riding that I do is primarily off-road, and if I wasn't gonna upgrade anything, the Suron Ultra B, right out of the box, has so much power, has so many cool OEM features on the screen. You can change all sorts of stuff. I think it's a better bike out of the box. It's definitely in a different class. That Talaria Sting is competing with the Suron Light B, as you know, but if you're someone that thinks that can handle this bigger bike, right out of the box this bike is such a good bike having a bike that can perform this well off-road just makes me want to become a better rider just because how smooth it is how predictable the bike feels it'll roll over anything oh i just need to get better to be able to use the power that it has to its full potential well how is it this thing's so much fun the, the throttle on this controller is so good. Just straight out of the box, it's ready to go. It's exactly how I tuned my X9000 to feel. It's pretty impressive. That torque controller is sweet. Is uh, turned out to be pretty dang sweet. It's got a lot of power. Yeah. More than we could ever need on all this stuff. Well guys, I wish we were able to be in a place today to really put this bike through its paces on one of our crazy mountain rides, but the snow kind of forced us down to these lower dirt roads, but we still had a blast out today. Super fun to ride this built Ultra B, compare it to the Talaria Stings, and at the end of the day, kind of decide if we made a mistake putting so much money into these bikes and wish that we would have got this. But what's your take, Al? Do you think that you would rather have this than that? I think, I think at the end of the day, I would rather have a smaller, lighter, easier to maneuver bike with too much power for me to handle than a bike with too much power for me to handle that's a little bit heavier and a little bit harder to maneuver. So I would rather have the Talaria Sting and I don't regret building that bike how I did. That's a really interesting way to put it because <laughs> I hadn't ever thought of it like that and just it's just like we keep going back to the point where it's just easier to go out and ride with the smaller bikes like we throw these three bikes in the back of reed's truck and it's way harder to do with an ultra b or an even bigger bike and again like alex said we can't even ride our talarias to their limits to the bike's limits so for us it's or for me and alex i guess because i'm picking talaria sting r2 that's what I like. I like having a smaller, lighter bike with, again, too much power for me to handle on all the trails I ride. But what do you think, Reed? Give me that camera. We're gonna flip it around. So I am also picking a Talaria Sting R, just like Lance and Alex, and it's mostly for all the same reasons they did. And at the end of the day, it's not which bike is better. They're different bikes. And it's just which one you want. It's just personal preference. Do you want a bigger bike or do you want a smaller bike? Or do you even want an even crazier bike? Get a Stark Varg. If you want an even smaller bike than a Sting R, get a Suron Light B or a Talaria X. They're all just a ton of fun and it's just personal preference. Which one do you want? If we were still out riding our Talaria MX-3s we rode for months with just completely stock, we would still be having almost as much fun as we're having on all these bikes. We and just wouldn't be able to go as far. That upgrade true. that I really like is that range that range. you get with the extra Range pack. is a huge thing. We really appreciate you guys watching. We have several more stock bikes coming to the channel very soon. I know you guys have been asking in the comments of some new models. We have them coming and bear with us on making some videos on those. We got winter literally coming very soon. It's Thanksgiving tomorrow. 
but we're gonna try to get out, do some more stock bike reviews, do some minor modifications to them. We also have several more controllers coming, ones that we've never tested, ones that don't really have any videos out on them from people testing, so we're excited to get out on those. We're gonna put them on stock bikes, we're gonna put them on our modified bikes, see how they do. And I'm sure there's gonna be more big bikes in the future too, you guys. We're gonna to try to learn how to ride them better so we can actually put them through their paces a little bit. At the end of the day, guys, we're just really excited to be able to ride all these bikes, test them, and just have a good time just like you guys do. We hope that you are out riding. Whatever bike you have, I'm sure it's a blast. Don't always worry about getting the best, the latest and the greatest, always upgrading. I know that's kind of what it seems like this community is, and that's fun to do that, but at the end of the day, get out and ride. We're gonna see you guys out on the trails. Thanks for watching. Thanks for 10,000 subscribers. I can't believe we did it in one year. We made it to 10,000 subs. We're super stoked on it. Hit that subscribe button, guys. We'll see you next time.